Article 16 to be considered read as written and moved for recommendation. Madam Chair, if I can just pass out these are some of the cost oh, backup you. that goes with the article. I did for ask the to have the wording of the contracts on the town website so we would have a chance to read them over the weekend. But so Article 16, which is uh, that didn't materialize for those without reader cards in front of them, like TV people at home, professional firefighters of Hampton. 2664. Yes. So that's the article we're discussing now, Article 16, after Correct. having a second from Danielle. You got that, Barbara, right? <laughs> How would you like to proceed? Do your thing. Okay. Um, you want to take these one at a time, or do you want me to do the yeah. global overview first and then come back to specifics and costing for each on one? one at a time, so. So, uh, you know, I want to suggest, let me talk about the overall how we got to where we are and then come back one at a time with the costing items if you have questions. Let me ask them. you one quick question, sure. and this applies to all four. Yeah. It has been my experience that when the negotiating team meets with the Board of Selectmen, uh, which they need to do before they enter into negotiations and they get the parameters of what the Selectmen will accept, uh, I'm assuming that the selectmen were consulted before the negotiations on the cap or the amount of a percentage of increase that they were willing to uh, accept. You can assume that the selectmen set their parameters. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Right. Hey, I ask a question. Mm -hmm. What are the percentages here? And that's what I'm going to get into right He's now. Gonna... Like, yeah, yeah. So it, 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 in general, let me tell you on the process, as Madam Chair has pointed out, we began meeting with the unions, all of the, there are four total units, two fire, Teamsters, and SEA, Public Works folks. Um, we got our direction, the committee consisted of Mr. Bean, uh, Mr. Gerald, and myself, um, and we got our direction from the Board of Selectmen as to what they wanted us to accomplish, what their priorities were, and we went to work doing that. We started sometime in September. I met numerous times, as many people in this committee know, that takes a lot of time to do, and we accomplished that. We have reached tentative agreements with all four. What you see in front of you has been approved by the selectmen to come before you with. The unions still are doing their ratification process on this. Mm -hmm. They have their timelines and notifications. Uh, we have every confidence that they're, they're hey. going to vote and support them as well. Um, in general, what do we have? There's several things that are consistent throughout all four of the units. Uh, what our goals were, and there are some that split off per unit. So let me kind of do overall. The overall goal was, uh, or overall for all of them are three-year contracts. Each of them carry with them uh, pay raises in each of those years. Essentially, three of the units are three, 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 and one of the units is uh, three in the first year, two and two. And I'll loop back on those in a moment. I thought you said two and three and three the other night. I beg your pardon? Yeah. I thought you said two, three, three the other no, night. No, so it's three, three, three for, for I know fires, three, three, three. Yeah. Um, SEA is three, 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 and Teamsters are three in the first year. Okay. Plus some salary adjustments on particular positions. Two, and then 2% okay. in each of the successive years. Okay. So it's three, two, two, essentially, with some okay. changes year one. But gotcha. I'll come back to those specifically in a moment. Uh, we're kind of doing an overview right now, sir, and then we'll come back to specifics of the one you're doing on, yeah. on 2664. Um, there were changes to medical prescription coverage on all the units. There was language of the Cadillac tax, the ACA provision in all of the units. Yeah. Um, and there was a change in the um, opt-out provision, that is the amount an individual is paid if they choose to opt out of our insurances offered. Um, those increased uh, on each of those units. So now coming back to you know, 2664, the one before you, they have all of those changes. In addition for, they are, again, three-year three, three -year contract, 333. Three. All of the employees have agreed uh, in both 2664 and 3017 to pay a higher share of their premiums, of their health care premiums. To this point in time, they have not. All of the other unions in town had uh, negotiated provisions where their newer employees were going to pay uh, a higher percentage as they came in. The fire department, uh, they have a different uh, thought process. They want everybody to be paying the same. So in this case, um, they have decided and they have agreed to pay everybody, all current employees, 
are going to pay a higher percentage. And so the town will see a, a, a savings or start to realize some savings in that area. So that's going to be 1.5% over the three years. The first year is 1%, zero in the second, another half a percent in the third year. Um, in the 2664, this is the, the firefighters contract. Uh, they have certain incentives for, for performance uh, that they do uh, for if you're an EMT or what have you. There'll be an added new 1% uh, for completion of the, the uh, uh, combination of three things, rescue swimmer, boat operations, and boat certification, as long as we have a, a, a rescue program. Um, and it's well in their contract as their dispatchers. There's an additional uh, opportunity of a 1% for dispatchers to have specific uh, job-specific training in certain areas. Uh, overall, historically, there had been a 17% cap on those uh, opportunity stipends. That has been increased by 1%. Uh, talk again about uh, the two insurance things we talked about. Um, the change in contribution that they have will result in savings for both the town and for uh, them. That has been borne by uh, a change that's been required, uh, elimination of certain plans in the future from our health provider. Um, it's been very good for us. We were able to uh, come to agreement with both the unions. The way we're dealing with that is in 2017, uh, the health insurance will remain the same. In 2018, everyone has to choose a new prescription plan. That prescription plan changes what their current benefits were that were allowed in the, in the contract. We had to change that. Uh, for that first, uh, for that year, we're going to put together, we've agreed to put a, a, a risk pool base or a pool put in there for those things that, that they can show were covered before that they lose money on the transition in that first year. And moving forward, that stipend will, will eliminate. It's a one-time stipend to cover those uh, issues. Um, that's 2664 kind of as an overview. You have in front of you the costing issues um, for the fire department. The fire department has both uh, 3017 and 2664 on the same page. I know that's kind of a quick overview. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Can you review the percentage of increases per year? Yep. In the fire, it's 333. 3% three, three, three. Three in year one, 3 in year two, 3 in year three, above their current pay scale. Mm -hmm. So, Jamie, was, well, I've got the sheet dated 12 a cost analysis for the fire CBA warrant articles. It should, that's both? Yeah, they're on the same page. You can see officers is at the top, firefighters is the bottom, firefighters is 2664. So yeah, the bottom okay. of that page you're looking at? That's good. I see what, okay. yeah, what you've got. And you'll see that these numbers are the breakdown of what appears in your warrant article and the costing. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk about the costing for a moment. Remember we had this discussion last year about how we were going to put that forward to the public. We did it exactly the same way we did with the police contract last year. Okay. The, the contracting, uh, excuse me, the costing actually refers to how much of an increase in that year occurs, correct? Say not, that again, sir? Not the actual cost for the year. It's the increased cost right. that if the so contract the is approved increase, will so be correct. Cumulative. That's correct. Mm -hmm. It's represented in there in the total over the years, the sandbornization, as well as you'll see evaluation down the bottom is what is that tax year impact. Somebody needs to take the M out of cumulative. You got two M's in Thank there, you. guys. So what percentage now are the employee paying of the health insurance? So the insurance currently is at 85. That's what they're currently all paying, right? 85%? No, they're paying 50. 50. 50. Yeah. They're paying 50. The town's 85. Yeah. They're going to start contributing in, in 2000, and if these pass, in 2017, all members will start paying an additional 1%. So 16 yep. and 84? Yep. I beg your pardon? 16 yeah. and 84. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 16 and 84. You lost yeah. me 84. It adds up to 100. The town's uh, going to pay. Yeah, yeah, I got you. You're doing okay. both. I'm, I lost you. And that'll be the same in 18. And then in 19, the town will be paying 83.5% in the employee. The fire employees will be paying 16. Okay. What was it for the second, third year again? I'm sorry. The second is the same as the first. So that was 16, right? Any 16 yep. and 84. 84. And then you said 16.5. Yes, because it's a one and a half percent over the three years. So the first year that increases uh, by one percent, and the second year it increases by how much? Sixteen percent again. Zero percent in the second year. You're talking about the health care contribution sharing is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. 
it changes by one one percent differential in the first year, zero in the second, and another half a percent in the third year. Okay. A total of 1.5 over the three years. Gotcha. Thank you. Welcome. I have a question. Sure. With the first year, starting April 1st, mm -hmm. 2017, okay, you'll have nine months worth of a 3% increase, and that will carry over for the first three months of 2018. Mm -hmm. So we'll have 12 months, but we'll have nine and three Correct. as far as carrying forward. Now, for the second year, which is going to start April 1st, 2018, mm -hmm. There's going to be 3% more increase mm -hmm. coming on top of what will be a base that has already had 3% incorporated in it. Right. So you're talking about a 9% raise over three years. That's correct. In today's economic situation, um, I have a problem with that. And, uh, well, I, it's, you know, the people aren't running around out there getting uh, piles of money and pay increases. Uh, anybody else have any thoughts on that, David? In 2012, the U.S. inflation rate was 2.1%. 2013 is 1.5. 2014 is 1.6. In 2015, it was 0.1%. And in 2016, as of August to August, it was 1.1%. A lot of people get some of those raises based upon the inflation rate. Mm -hmm. People above that are getting a, a huge one. But for Social Security, in 2015, people who are on Social Security get a zero point. Mm -hmm. People in 2016 were like a point zero zero three. It was so small. Then they had surcharges where they went backwards. Earlier it was stated upon some of the people who are very tight, lack of a better term, in reference to their income in the town of New Hampshire. So from what I'm seeing from this, it, it seems to be excessive to get 3% by 3% by 3%, which at the end of three is probably rounds off to somewhere around a total 10% increase, where other people that get Social Security and they're on a fixed income, they're not getting anything like that. Mm. That's my concern for the average tax pipe. Now, some people can, uh, can afford this, but if you do that for the next three years and you have three years after and it gets built upon that, and plus uh, people are paying pensions and the, and the state's no longer picking up pensions that they once did, the, the town has to pick them up. I'm gonna jump to an exaggeration. Look at Detroit. They, the pensions were so high that the city went bankrupt. Yeah. My concern is it seems to be high and I'm very concerned about that. <clears throat> and I'm concerned about what happens in the fourth year, the fifth year, and sixth year, which is what nobody has a crystal ball, so I don't mean to insult you or anything, I'm sorry. It, it just seems high in today's world. Now, if we go back to when I was working back in the 1970s and Carter was president, we had like a 12% inflation rate. So people could raise up around 12%. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned and disappointed that it's more, not closer in line with the inflation rate. Anybody else? Stephen? So I'm not going to say whether it's high or low, but I can say, um, you know, if you look over, there was a six or seven pe year period there where I know uh, firefighters and town employees were getting zeros, you know, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So they fell from the middle line down here for quite a few years. And I can speak uh, on behalf of the fire guys and public works and some of the police guys. And fire guys, tell you what, you got probably some of the best fire officers and uh, the work that they do, the lives they save every single day out there is, is amazing. I've had the opportunity to work in Hampton for 30 years with the guys and see what they have. I've had the opportunity to work outside in a smaller town. Uh, and I'll tell you what, we have the best of the best fire guys. These guys, what they do, the way they're trained, and I'm not saying we don't pay for their training and everything else, but we have some of the best, most professional fire guys. And, uh, you look around town at the public works guys too. Look at this town. 
how clean it is and, and the things they do. So I'm looking at, I go back because not probably everybody knows, there was a long period of time where these guys got zeros, you know? When was for, this? For quite a few years. Uh, 2009-ish. It was 2009 for, you know, quite a few years after that. They, they so had taken zeros. for three years they didn't get a raise six. at all? It was, for, it was for six years there was no raises. So what I'm trying to just say is, you know, they did go for six years without raises. So, you know, their scale went down like this from where they were. So. You get what you pay for. These guys are hard work and dedicated guys. I don't and they did take question that. And, and I'm not questioning that. Are. And I understand also, I mean, question. when you look at what, I understand what you're saying, because if you're looking at, you know, what the, you know, the uh, retiree people are getting right now, you know, what they're saying they're getting 0.02 or 0.03 or something, mm -hmm. in the AFP, and some of them getting nothing, and yeah, I understand. I mean, it's a lot of money, but there was that period of time where they didn't get it, so. It's we're trying to also balance up, everything, because we're talking about potential for the HAJH, which I did take a walk through right. with the principal last Friday. Yeah. It took us an hour and a half. It was a great walk through, by the way. But that's a $26 million yeah. project. And, and I, these other Warren articles, a million, and then this, so we're trying to look at the whole picture and the increase for taxes over the next two, three, four, or five years. That's what I'm looking at from that level. I, I, I know the there. public employee, like the police and the fire department, are top shelf. This, and this public works. And, oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And yes. if I just, for a moment, precisely what you two gentlemen just discussed is all of the information that we, we went through. Now, if you recall also, one of the guidances that we received last year, when the police contract went forward, public voted for that, and it was a 333 with changes. With all of this discussion was what people went through. Now, we're at a different time, and I appreciate your perspective, but this is exactly the discussion and the debate that we're going to have in town moving forward with these contracts. We should. I agree should. completely, absolutely, and everybody has their opinion. But what I'm presenting to you is the facts, the guidance that the board gave us, and you're, you're absolutely right. That is really the core discussion that's going to be had out there. The value of our employees over that period of time where they had uh, nothing for six years. And there was some slight movement. There was movement, um, a number of contracts that moved things. Um, we had guidance based on all of those factors. Were they under a union at that time? I beg your pardon? Were they under union at that oh, yes. time? Oh, yes. Unions in this town have been here since early, uh, since the 70s. 70s. Yeah. Most of, there's one unit, the, the Teamsters, which came sometime after, but yeah. the fire and police and, and public works have been there a long time. During those years. It was a different time. During those years yeah. when there was no increase. Because there was no contract, it wasn't because there was no warrant article for a contract. Because there were warrant articles, they just failed. Isn't that yes. true? Not always. There were some where there were no agreements reached, but in some cases, yes, it, it varied during that period of time. But yeah. during that period of time, there were negotiations. Sometimes those yeah. negotiations bared fruit that failed. In some cases, they weren't able to come to agreements. And in this case, we were able to come to agreements with these units. And the economy was collapsing. I mean, it was a different time that was exactly right. Point in time. These are not we, we recognize these are not easy issues. And these this, are challenging issues for everybody to deal with. And this is going to add something like two point one million over a three year period of time, the operating budget. Just in what is increases. all of them? If you add the four, yeah. it's, it's two point one million dollars. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of money. That's in, that's an increase above and beyond what we're doing now. Sonny? Yeah. What I see is, what I think is probably going to start happening is, I see it happening in other towns. The voters are not going to pass it. You know what I mean? I think you have to try to move in the future to cost of living increases. You know what I mean? Because you see what happened with Social Security. You know what I mean? Part V is Medicare pays 80% of the health care, 20% that we pay, or you buy a supplement. I mean, you're gonna have people's health insurance, or their social security insurance, is, they, they're gonna get less money this year. And it happens that more and more elderly people in town. You know, I understand the, the problem with the unions. I, dealt with many unions over the years, you know, but I think that, that's the same problem with the retirement fund, you know? Okay, okay Mike? I just want to add a couple of comments. Uh, one of the first years I was a selectman, we kept the contracts with all the unions, and then that bargaining agreement tried to compensate for the fact that they hadn't had raises to speak of in six years, but the 
voters voted against the things they asked for. So yeah. you could argue that both ways, but nevertheless, there was some compensation for that in the contracts we signed the first year. Right? Okay, so I'm not going to put much weight on any of that. I'm going to look at this at 3% and 3%. 9%, and I got the letter from Social Security a couple of days ago. They're giving me this point zero whatever it is percent. How many how many dollars that added to my Social Security check? Zero. Mm -hmm. And I'm on a flat pension too. It doesn't go up there. So I got zero increase in my income completely this year. That's the way it's been for a while. And if we keep giving away nine percent raises over a three-year period. There's going to be some of us who aren't going to be able to afford to live here. That's the way that's going to go down. The best, I remember one time years ago when I was trying to watch the money in the budget, Fred Rice said something about, well, if you can't afford to live here, move out. Well, that's not the way I look at things. I want to live in Hampton, but if we keep going like this, I won't be able to live here much longer. So that's all right. I mean, I'm serious about that. I think that the, we've got to look at the things a little more realistic. And, and all I would say in response to that is the consideration the selectman gave, again, looking at all of these issues, right. was also looking at the result of what the voters voted for last year. And they mm -hmm. voted for the police contract, which included 333. Mm -hmm. So it is a different time. They are looking at that period of time that the voters, the, the, the employees went with nothing. And the voters have support. That's what the board looked at globally to move forward with. Um, we appreciate everybody's perspective. My sense in evaluating salaries is you, you're ultimately driven by the market. And are you people having difficulty retaining staff because other towns are paying more? Um, we have lost some employees. Now, again, is that the sole reason they left? I can tell you my experience from the police department. We lost several. And, and I believe you know, the feedback was in several of those cases, it was because they made more money in another place. Um, now they went to Massachusetts which is an entirely different <laughs> deal. You know, it's a different deal. That's a reality here, though. We're that close that some of our folks go. I would not say, in my opinion, we have a huge issue with losing people um, based on just the economics. They don't. Are we like the average of all the games here? Are uh, we an above average, below average? Right, and, and I'll be very blunt up front. I haven't studied specifically that data. Uh, the unions didn't come forward. Here's, here's the issue, that, if I may just one moment finish. Again, in my opinion, Something that's different about Hampton compared to many other places is our summer operation. We go from you know a community of 15,000 to a community of 100,000 plus, and therefore that summer surge operation carries with it a whole lot of extra work that's necessary. One of the reasons you see our overtime being what it is. And they have the ability to make money working that overtime. There is a concern that, that our department heads have voiced over time is that you know with the, the generational change, Many of our newer guys don't like to work overtime. They want to work their 40 hours and they want to go off. It's not like times when some of the older folks that are sitting around the table that work whenever they could. Um, it's different now. And that is a concern we have going forward. Right now, I, I, I won't represent that we're losing a lot of people based on money. I don't think so. Anecdotally, we've lost some, yes. But I don't think right now it's a huge issue. It is the police department with, uh, with getting people to work part time. But on our full time staff, it's not something I would say is, is something we're significantly struggling with. We're very concerned about it. We're having trouble with some recruiting issues now and getting new employees um, to meet our needs in several of our departments. That is an issue. Is it strictly financial? We, just, we don't have a good answer. For that. But those are concerns we certainly have. The only other comment I need mean, is on health care. Thank you. That <laughs> is the 800 pound gorilla in everybody's financial closet. Yeah. Stuff. Okay. And unless the unions in the town can work out a more effective car share than this contract now allows them. That's going to be hard to hear you, Bob. It really is. Yeah. So, so if I just louder to say, his his issues are the health care and the cost sharing issues. You're absolutely right. That's absolutely every community is struggling with that. Um, this is the first time that the fire, over all of the years of negotiating, has agreed to take a higher share. They've never done it before. Yeah. Um, you know, that's something we're proud of. It's not a huge number. It saves us money. But it starts us moving in that direction. All of the other unions have come forward and cost-shared that. 
it is something that the, the, the negotiators at that time did was future benefits. And so those folks in the, uh, are taking a higher number. Every time you go to the table, those are absolutely the issues you're dealing with. Health insurance issues and wages are always the biggest issues you deal with. Yeah. No question about it. Yeah. And we were sensitive to that during this as well. I know in some communities, they'll waive wage increases to hold health care participation down. Yeah. But I do see that as something that's going to be a deal breaker at some point. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, I'd like to say one thing to stem on what you said, Bob. You you stated one that inflation is roughly, I believe, it's at 1.1 percent right now, the rate for inflation, or it was sometime in 2016. 2012 was 2 1, 2013 was 1.5, 2014 was 1.6, 2015 was 0.1, and 2016 from August of 15 to August of 15 to 16, 1.1. And, you know what, and I also want to say something else that's extremely low right now, if you look at it over the period of the last eight or ten years, is job participation. Not unemployment, but job participation, which is going to stem on what Jamie said and also on what Bob Ladd said. No one wants to work these jobs anymore. No one wants to be a police officer. No one wants to be a firefighter. No one wants to work for a public works department. Hampton has what it has because of those three departments. And I think that putting this forward on the ballot in March, town meeting, public hearings, wherever, I think, this, I think that the town will vote for it because I think that most residents understand the incentive to living in this town comes from our police, our fire, and our public works. And I think Jamie did a great job, Selectman Bean did a great job, and our attorney did a great job. And I would like to see all of these go forward to the ballot march. What I'm considering here is that we're really discussing all four. The money is pro is the only issue, basically. Yeah. Right. And we're, we're talking about basically all four articles. I mean, we're not going to be here all night. So I just You did the big global issues. There are some minor things per each unit. But in, in general, yes. And that was one of the directions of the board is to try and keep those major things as much as possible right. consistent. And Sonny? Yeah. Oh, what, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to vote for it and leave it up to the voters. Yeah, I think that's a prudent because idea. Because I think the voters are going to speak to it. They're the ones who will speak to it. Yeah. What, I think Brian? you did a good job. Well. I can't hear you. Yes, I know. It's 10 o'clock. We're going to have to get our toes going here. Okay. Yeah. Speaking globally, Madam Chair. Yes. I don't know whether I'm going to vote yes or vote no, but I'm going to allow it to go before the voters on either case. Yeah. Well, it will. Well, it will. Of course. Well, that's exactly the point, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, as you recall, Chief, last year, last several years, I've been talking about the Cadillac tax under Obamacare, 40%, Obama. right? Yeah. yeah. First, we were laughed at, and people listened after a while, right? In any case, last year we had three union contracts that were one year in length and one union contractor with three years in length. No, last year you had one one year and two three year in length. One failed, one passed. Mm -hmm. The one year passed in fire, yep. police passed as a three year, and the team says which was a three year failed as well. Yeah. I got all three, oh. all four passing. No, the no. team says no. no. Teamsters the team failed. Team That's the team why team we're team back team with them now. Teamsters didn't. Teamsters being article 18. It, it failed by a very, very close margin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the, the um, three-year contract where we went three, 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 I believe, with the police? Yes. That, that was a three-year contract? Correct. And that's not on this year's No, right? they, okay. we won't negotiate them and, until they expire. And the, the reason we had discussion on it last year was because that three years extended into the invocation of Obamacare's Cadillac tax, remember? Yes. And as I recall, I certainly favored it. Uh, not Obamacare, or it's kind of like that, but favored your, your negotiated contract. Uh, in part because we were giving up or gaining the loss of a risk factor relative to that Cadillac tax. That's right. right. And so, well, 3% was hard to swallow last year. Uh, that removal of that risk was something that enabled me to swallow it. Um, I don't see that risk anymore. 
Well, I'll say this. Fact, even after we passed that, yeah. uh, they kicked that can down the road anyway. They kicked that down during this negotiation. Now we have period, a new administration actually. coming in, pledging to God and anyone else that you're going to get rid of Obamacare, presumably Cadillac get, tax with it. Okay, yeah. Tim. So I, I'm like, well, how can I swallow 3% now? Yeah, Tim, let's and, get on the subject. Here. I am on the subject. <laughs> I think we should, I know. Excuse me, Madam Chair. Yes. I am on the subject. Yes. Um, and I'd like the chief to, 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 to uh, or the former chief, <coughs> now assistant town manager, to tell me why I may be uh, mistaken in my view on those matters. Well, I, I would say this. I don't know that you're mistaken. I will say this. You, you're right. It's a risk issue. Uh, it seemed that when we were doing the police contract, it was a much higher risk. It's still law. It's still on the books. It's still a concern that we needed to protect the taxpayer from. Yeah. Now, is that risk the same as before? Politically, I would argue probably not. Mm. They kicked it down the road. Politically, probably not. But it, when we began negotiating, it was still a risk, and it's still a risk. Until it gets eliminated, it's a risk. And, and people have to value that themselves. Now, that wasn't the only reason. It may have been for you. Many others took what Mr. Henderson said. You know, our folks have gone for a long period of time with zero, zero, all zero, zero minus. They're all multiple. They're multiple all issues. considerations. Short answer is the risk is not gone yet. But do I think it's as high a risk as it was before? Probably not. Yeah. But it's still there. Okay. Tempest Fusion. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable now what? with the... Tempest Fusion? It means time flies. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yes. Chairman. I thought we were in America, not in uh, ancient <laughs> no. Yeah, Real quick, because it's 10 o'clock now. Well, no, what I'm going to suggest is we vote on 16, 17, 18, 19. I'll second that. Yes. I'll third it. Excuse me. There's already a motion <laughs> on the table. There's a motion. There's already a motion on the table. Well. Make an amendment to the motion that we include. We don't, we don't tolerate them. Moved by Mr. Kravitz, seconded. We already Mr. have a motion on the table. He oh, the it was only for Article 16. He did not make an amendment. He made a motion. I made an amendment. Well, who seconded it? The amendment is to take all of the... Barbara, why don't you record or tell us what we said? Tim, Tim, just let... No, vote. Okay, do you understand the intent to address all of the union contract proposals at one time, the only real issue being the money? Mm -hmm. uh, and moved by Mr. Kravitz, seconded by Mrs. Bridal in favor of... Discussion on that? Let's have some discussion on the other three, if you don't mind. You got a motion, we should have a discussion on the motion. Right. Okay. You've got a okay, call. Discussion it's not the dick biter show. Nobody okay. said it was, Mr. Uh, Pierce. We wanted, I want to discuss all four of them. No, well, Michael, it's 10 o'clock. And I don't care. And the crew is going it. home. I know. I know. Yeah, so so all night. We can do that. But I want to know what the percentage is on the Fire Department Supervisor Association. So well, it's three, three, three. Three, 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 and three. three, three, three. Yeah. On the Teamsters? Two, right. two, three. No, Teamsters is two, three, three, is three. Two. Two, 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 and there are several positions in year one that will have adjustments to their yeah. salary matrix. And okay, what is it for Tim Tinkers again? Three, Say two, again. two. One person at a time, please. Three, two, two. Thank you. And nine, nine, nine. Last but not least, <laughs> nine, one, one. How about the SES? Three, three, three. Three, three, three. That's all I want to know. Now, the motion on the table is to consider all four union contracts as one. Vote is that correct, correct. Madam Chair? Yeah. Yes, that is the and, amendment. And so that's that's the point of what we should be discussing. Isn't that correct, Madam Chair? Yes. Okay. I, I cannot uh, support the motion to uh, deal with all four of these. I could consider them unique in each case. And uh, if I'm forced to vote on all four, I will vote no for all four. Then you would. So there you go. I have enough said on that. Oh, by the way, one other point, Madam Chair. I want to be sure the Secretary makes note that I made a motion. To, to consider Article 16, it was seconded, and it's now being thrown out the window. It is no, not. It yeah, was amended. It was added. It was amended, and this is the right. video will prove it. We Either are not way. right now voting on whether. So I, I have said enough of my discussion on Thank this you. this motion or amendment, depending on your point of view. Thank we're, you. We're Mr. voting Mr. right now to whether we're to amend it or not. That's right. the vote that's on the table. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. Not to whether we approve all of it. Right. Just to amend it. <laughs> Is it, is it the wish of this board to accept the amendment to the initial article? Okay, one uh, bridal, uh, yes, Barnes. <laughs> we're lucky we're all out of it. Kravitz, Lapham, Henderson, Pluff, 
Yes, bless your heart, Augustine. Yeah, it's not past my bedtime, Madam Chair. Augustine no. and uh, her lad. And Woolsey is in favor as well. Opposed? Pierce, Marer, Jones. The, the money, the percentage is the only issue, really. The, there mind. are no side issues. In your mind, it is. Okay, we have now, well, that's all everybody's talking about is the money. Now, we as have amended. gone to the main motion as amended, which is on the table, related to all three, I mean, all four contracts. A motion to recommend to the public hearing. In favor? Okay, Bridal, uh, Barnes, Kravitz, Lapham, Henderson, Pluff, uh, Augustine, and Ladd. Opposed? Uh, Pierce, Marer, Jones, and Woolsey. Okay, now 